Yes, yes, I am. Are we recording already? Uh, yeah, we are. <laughs> well, cheers to Pale Face. Oh, man, cheers with sparkling water and, and regular unsparkling water. water. Well, hello, boys and girls. What is this? Is this down the cabana hole number 14, I, I believe? I think it is 14. I think yeah. we're on 14. Yeah. Yes. Wow, so that's yeah. 28 weeks. Uh, a little bit more because we missed uh, one because yeah. yeah. someone was, you know, gallivanting across the vacation. world. I had a vacation. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, when I take vacations, uh, I'm always back on a Tuesday just for you. Oh, i got to start this. There we go. So, what's our sponsor? Our sponsor is okay. Devin. Devin brought the sponsor. Yeah. What's our sponsor, so, Devin? Uh, Try to liven this up. I'm tired. It was a hot day. It was a hot day. 103 today. Uh, so, we went to the market. The okay. Thursday. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Over there, across the street, and uh, they've got alcohol there too. They've got two alcohol. They got a rum place. You got to go check out. Really? Yeah, I oh, tried man. a couple, and some of them were interesting. Okay. So you'll have to, and actually, the one that Dale brought. Yeah. That everybody said tastes like tequila. It's that company. Oh. But then they had a bunch of different kinds of rum. So, anyways, I purchased this one, single malt cast strength. It was a hundred bucks. There we are. And what is the name of this? I can't read Westward it. Whiskey. Westward Whiskey. It's it should be Westward Ho. It should be, but this is in Southeast uh, Portland. Nice. Yeah, they have a distillery in Southeast Portland. Westward Whiskey, and yeah. this is the, what is this one called? Single Malt Cast Strength. Cask. Cast. Not cast. cast. Yeah, yeah. C-A-S-T? No. K. C-A-S-T. Yeah. yeah. Cask. Cask you were saying T on that. You were saying cast. That's like fine. Great. Good job. You're right. I suck. Thank you. Wow. You're in a chipper mood. I'll get some glasses. Look at this mess, Devin. I know. You... Why did you make this mess? Because I wanted to shame you. Ouch. Man, my shoulder. I'm doing something, man. Here's I haven't even been working out. It's my sleep. I'm laying on my shoulder or something, and it hurts. Everything. So I think we should Ooh. definitely try this. Uh, neat. Neat. And then, because it's so hot outside, yeah. we'll have some ice while oh. it's going everywhere. So, All right. Westward. Have a sniffer. It is strong. It smells strong. It smells what strong. is the proof? It is uh, 125 proof. What? What does that yeah. mean? It means uh, it is... Does that mean that like it's 250% 50, alcohol? What's half of 25? 13, so 63.5% alcohol. Cheers. Hmm. It smells stronger than it feels, yeah. Yeah. right? It kind of burns your nose a little bit. No. When you... Oh. Then, when you do that, when I swallowed, it didn't burn my nose. But when you drink it, yeah, it doesn't really burn. Not bad. It's pretty nice. nice Cheers. And, it's got a warm taste to it, but that could be the fact that it was 104 today. Was it 103 or 104? I don't know. I saw 103. I don't know. Yeah, it's hot. It's still hot. So, uh, yeah. So there we go. 62.5 percent alcohol by volume. Nice. Yeah. 100 <clears throat> bucks. Stupid hundred bucks. Wow. You drink this one slowly. <laughs> Meh. Meh. Okay. All right. What's your first topic? Well, long time ago, I thought what could be kind of a cool movie okay. is um, <clears throat> it's where you've got uh, aliens finally make contact, whatever. Okay. You know, so there's this interaction. And what the movie centers on is not so much that, but what then do people do who are Christian or Muslim or whatever? How do they wrestle with this, you know, God and alien, that kind of stuff? And then as the movie progresses, it turns out they're not really aliens, but they're demons. And I always thought that'd be kind of a cool twist as a movie idea. And guess what? Somebody made it. I was listening, no, but I was listening to a, a speaker, and I think this is why I thought of that. And he was pointing out, you know, um, first off, we know that obviously things could be discovered 
but science as we know it makes it pretty much impossible to have anybody thousands of light years away come here. Uh, based, based on... Based on the science that we know and understand exactly, today. Exactly, exactly. Now, there's always that caveat, things could change, because in Star Trek, you know, they finally developed the warp drive. Well, but also, uh, you know, if something came here, the properties and the minerals and material from their planet could be completely different than ours. Exactly. And so they could have different properties then. And, and also, but, and besides the fact that, that we would die from their germs, they would die from yeah, our germs, sure. you know, all that kind of stuff. Ooh, did you see that documentary? Hey, I'm in the middle of this. this. rabbit hole. Okay, Did what? you see the documentary about the aliens that landed in, like, Colombia or something? Okay. No, no, it's like a real documentary. Mm. And the oh, I'm sure it's a real documentary. <laughs> I'm going to have to, I'll look it up. Okay. But there was a... Uh, there was a guy who, like, picked up the alien to take it to the hospital, and he died of mysterious skin disease, bacteria something or something that right. they think was from the alien. Right. Yeah. All right. So Could be. There you go. So anyhow, this guy, what he's pointing out is that um, there, there are lots of places in the Bible that talk about... Um, you know the the powers that that are dealing with the world. It's on a different dimension, mm -hmm. and so these aliens could possibly be coming from a different dimension rather than a different planet. True. And the, and that he was saying, you know, there's good evidence for demons. And then with the research that they had, not him, but research that he had checked out, been done with people who who say, look, I had contact with an alien, all that kind of stuff. Um, he found some interesting similarities um, with a lot of the people, and and he was just pointing out why would that can be one of them? The occult is another one, and he and there were a number of them who who as they were being taken away, they you know pleaded Jesus no, you know help me, and then the alien left them. It's like, well, why would they? They got nothing to do with Jesus. Why, if they were really aliens, why would that? And he said there were lots of people that when they said that, they got left alone. And then he was pointing out, you know, why is it people get abducted, these aliens with high-tech whatever that they can supposedly get here from other planets, are using very crude surgical tools. You know, he, he was just going through all this stuff, and I went, you know, this all does make sense. Could be. I... I think that would be likely. Because, come on, nobody travels, has technology to travel all the way over here and then they crash. Come on. Uh, no. I mean, we have no. the technology to fly around the whole world and we still crash. Like, what's the difference? Especially if you don't know the gravity. Because the technology anything. is way more advanced to go across the galaxy. Is it? Yes. It might, uh. might be different. It might not be that advanced for them. I, I honestly, do, I know with all the stuff that they, they've got the guy testifying before Congress and everything, I honestly don't think that there are really aliens. I really don't. I think it's all just a bunch of bullshit from our government to distract. And that's it. Uh, I, I, uh, I, I'm open to the idea. But... Again, like, I don't think... I wouldn't be surprised no matter what the answer was. If right. it was aliens, cool. If it's some secret government project, cool. Like, right. like, like, if it came out either way, like, okay, wouldn't be right. surprised. Right. right? That is true. Yeah. I mean, they're not going to tell us. I, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if it actually was aliens. I used to be way into it because, you know, I was a Trekkie as a kid and all of that. I, I used to be really into that, but I'm just more and more, I just, I don't believe it. <laughs> it could here, happen. Here's I do have thing. an open mind. I'll here's play. the... Here's the what? Here's the sliver of maybe for me. Okay. Okay? <clears throat> How many, like, physicists and chemists and propulsion experts and all these people have come out and said, we don't have any technology that can do this that we're seeing? That we're seeing where? Like, those things flying around, like David Fravor stuff. That's if they really are. Well, people have seen it. 
doesn't it's been doesn't, tracked it, that, that doesn't mean that it's an alien no, no let me finish okay so what they're seeing all these experts are saying like we can't figure out right. anything that is in the known right thing for this to happen because you can't do that you can't you can't do that you can't fly like that and that kind of so, stuff so yeah the only two options are yes secret government with special shit that nobody knows about <laughs> right yeah. which is I'm highly unlikely. Highly unlikely is the U.S. government, right? Yeah, yeah. Come or on, man. these guys are not that smart. Or it's another country who's maybe a little more tight-lipped. Yeah. But even yet, nah. Or it's aliens. Yeah. So. Or it's demons. But even all the three of them are preposterous based on what we it know. Sounds like it. Yeah. Right. So sounds like it. whichever one it is, roll the dice. Cool. Roll the dice. All right. You want some ice? Uh, Speaking yeah. of roll the dice, yeah, let's we'll some roll ice. some ice. So that was one thing that I just found it intriguing listening to this guy speak, and I went, man, I thought of that for a movie a long time ago. Yeah, and you never made it. No, I didn't. There's a lot of things in life that I think about that I never did. Some of them, that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> At least according to the fetching misses. <laughs> Listen to that. It sounds wonderful. Crickety crackety. You need a little bit more. I put more on that. Okay. Cheers. So I was listening to this guy talk. Speaking of the demon, Stephen May cool Mayer. Stephen Mayer. Do you know that guy? Oh yeah. Yeah. And he was. I have. I have listened to him a bunch of times. He was talking about like his uh, his how DNA has is coded like mm -hmm. it's like intelligent design. Oh yeah, that's the best argument. That's the best argument. I got something. Well, it's and it's undeniable. It's undeniable. Yeah, it's a code. It's obvious. It's written code and and for all these people, I, Julie and I when we were in Hawaii, uh, we were watching. Um, uh, some TV because that was when her GBS flared up again. She was in a wheelchair, right? Mm -hmm. And it was great. It was great stuff. You know, that Attenborough guy. Oh, here we have the zebra off in the plains. He looks so majestic. It was fascinating. But I love how they, how they create these, you know, evolution happened to protect it, this from this species or to help this one find this, you know, all that kind of stuff because it needed to. That's... What kind of what kind of science is that? Well, it needed to do. No, it's pre-designed. It's coded, like he's pointing out. It's in the. The code. other thing that he said that I thought was interesting was that he believes evolution happens to where you know a it's, certain species it's can microevolution. Yeah, yes. but he doesn't like. He doesn't think that you know all of a sudden a monkey turned into a dog, no. or a dog turned into a monkey. No, it didn't happen. So I thought that was fascinating. Macroevolution cannot happen. Based on, based on genetics and mathematics, macroevolution cannot happen. And he was saying that there are certain systems in your blocking proteins mm -hmm. that if you were to like evolutionarily change some ones and zeros or the AGTs, AG, whatever, the, there's four of them, right? In yeah. your genes that it would just break before it actually changed anything significantly. Like, yeah. Like code, like computer code. Yeah, yeah. So I thought it was fascinating. Anyways, I just thought you would know that there I was, was a, fascinated there by There was that. a great um, interview with him and two other professors. And what I liked about it was it was, it was not a Christian thing or anything like that. And this was the first time I ever saw him... Um, talking about stuff right mm -hmm. and and it was basically one guy um, I think he's a computer science and math mathematician professor and then him Stephen with uh, biology and this other guy which I've, I've seen a lot of his lectures too now because he's just funny yeah um, it's more philosophical kind of yeah. stuff yeah yeah um, with that guy it's like I like the way he put it he goes you know I I I kind of, I have my day of rest. I like Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Yeah, I think there's a God. 
Thursday, Friday, Saturday, nah, maybe not. Sunday, I rest. <laughs> so he's a very funny guy. But anyhow, this interview, because the one mathematician, he was just pointing out, and he was crushed because Darwin was his hero. And he said, you know, but he didn't know what we now know. Yeah. And evolution did not happen. It cannot happen. Well, that's the other thing that and, this, I and, like about and this. And what thing. I liked about it was they're talking about this, and he goes, but the thing is, okay, so now we know there was a higher intelligence, but how high of an intelligence? Because things are falling apart all the time. And that's when Stephen went, well, I've got an answer for that, but that's for a different subject. Because yeah, yeah. he's a Christian. Yeah. And the Bible outlays why that is. Yeah. So I'm trying to find something. This guy, Massimo, um, on Twitter, I always love his science stuff that he puts in. I'm just talking about evolution. I saw it the other day. So you, you keep yammering on while I look for this. I was going to say something else. So what else did, were they talking about? Who was he with? He, Joe Rogan. Oh, okay. So you watched Joe Rogan. You watched that bastard. <laughs> well, he and he was like, no, I, he was uh, kind of grilling him a little bit about his like Holy Spirit mm -hmm, talk, mm -hmm. and uh, and that Stephen was like, you know, I don't think this is really going to go anywhere, so I don't think we should discuss this. And Joe's like, no, we should absolutely discuss this. <laughs> and he was saying, look, I'm not asking you, like. I'm not asking these questions to belittle you or make you try to think that you didn't experience that, but I just want to know your origin story. Because right. he kind of felt, I think, that Joe was kind of egging him on, like, right. oh, that, like, you can't really feel that or whatever. Right, right. And, and, and he was like, no, 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 you, I'm not telling you how to feel or how I feel, right? I want to know your origin story, and I want to hear the testimony that you have to say, right? Right. And uh, this is the thing that gets me about these kind of talks. Like, this guy's super smart. But, and I can agree with his intelligent design thesis. Okay. But you, like, how do you make the connection from intelligent design to modern church? That's the thing okay, but, nobody but now, can give me. I don't understand what you're talking about. Intelligent de design so, to modern church. intelligent design, right? Yes. Like, okay, cool, there's an intelligent design. So there is something that made this. Why am I not right? This? And so how do you go Damn. from intelligent okay. design to Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior and now we go to church on Sundays? Um, partly because there is a plethora of evidence that supports that Jesus was the Christ, did die on the cross, and did raise from okay. the dead. But there's a lot of Jewish people too, and they don't believe You know, that. I watch... Here's an interesting thing. Did you know that there's a chapter that's called the Forbidden Chapter that they don't teach in the synagogues? It's Isaiah 53, where he describes Jesus Christ as the suffering Okay, servant. that's fine. I didn't want to go into this conversation. <laughs> my point is... Your point is... My point is, is I can, I'm can i down with the intelligent design conversation. Okay, okay. But that's a far cry from modern religion. Far cry. Look, modern religion, no matter what the religion, has problems because we are humans. I, I'm just saying, far cry. Yeah. It's a big leap for me. But here's, so. the, here's my problem with that. This is what I don't understand. If you say, okay, I think that there's a creator out there. Why is there no desire to find out who that creator is? Dude. Well, here's the thing. This is what this guy said, too. He said that he felt the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, if I ever felt like I felt the Holy Spirit, or whatever it is from whatever religion, maybe I would. Hmm. But I've never had that feeling. Interesting. Ever. Okay. So, it's a far cry for me to make the connection with no feeling. Right. Right? With no You know feeling. what's cool? What's cool? is Jesus didn't say um, to Thomas, right? Mm. Yeah, Thomas. Because you got the Doubting Thomas. Oh, is that where Doubting Thomas comes from? Exactly. Nice. He didn't say to him, hey, you didn't believe, so off with you. No. Because all the other guys are saying, he rose from the dead. Thomas is going, uh-uh, I don't believe you. 
I don't believe you. Not till I put my finger in the holes in his hands, the hole in his side. No. And so he finally meets Jesus. And Jesus didn't knock him for that. So he, you're saying I can be saved? He, of course. Congratulations to me. Yeah. And he said, you know, blessed are you because you got a chance to see. But blessed are those who don't get a chance to see but still believe. I, well, what to believe? There is a ton of evidence to like support what's belief? Christ. What's belief? Right? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. I can believe that there is an intelligent designer, whatever that means. Okay. Based on the evidence. Yeah. Based on the. Oh, absolutely. Right? And that's the first step. Is you got to at least admit the truth. Well, My I, sister, when I pointed out to her that, um, you know, uh, Darwin is dead. Darwinian evolution is dead. Yeah, that's what he was saying too. Like all the Darwin guys are like, yeah, yeah. We need to... And as a matter of fact, um, Professor Torre or Tor, I don't remember exactly how to pronounce his name. He's he's uh, into the um, origins kind of stuff, and I listened to him lecture at a university, and he prefaced it with, "You will find that I will not quote the Bible once. I don't need to." I'm just going to go through science and point out how they are lying and jury rigging how to create life. And it was fascinating. It was it was mind blowing because because he was showing how they say, oh well, these chemicals are together, and then you get the lightning and you know and yeah. the primordial soup thing. He said, there's a problem. They're jury rigging it to make that happen, and then you have to go to the next step. But the problem is this dies. So rather than do that, they create it for the next step. Mm. And, and he said, it, it cannot happen. It, it was a, and it was at, a, at some university. But anyhow, anyhow um, I was going to go somewhere else. <laughs> I don't remember where now. Well, anyways, I think I, I mean, I've always been like, yeah, I believe that, you know, something probably made this. Mm. But that argument about the coding and putting it in that term of, Listen, every system that we've created as human beings had a uh, inputter, right. right? Some intelligent design to it. Otherwise, it never works. Right. So that concept of an intelligent designer makes a whole lot of sense to me. Right. Especially with all we know about coding and right. things like that. This was the area where I was going is the, is the fact that... Um, Dude. Hey. I've already been drinking a lot today. I had a project. I, it's been like a five beer project so far. Wham. I'm crying for you. <laughs> so far deep down, I can't even feel it. So this smack talk that you're trying to lay down, it ain't happening. What's that you're drinking right there, Devin? Uh, water, because I'm waiting for you. Right. Because I don't want to drink more without you. Anyhow... You drink that I thought that would be $8. I thought that would be a, a cool movie yeah because because I like stuff where you wrestle with um, you know okay my my worldview has been shattered how do I deal with that but why would that shatter your worldview some people I think it would some people wouldn't I think if you're a believer and it turned out to be true it wouldn't shatter it would solidify your worldview how's that? Well, because if demons came... No, 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 no. I'm talking about aliens. But if they were found out to be demons. Right, but I'm saying if they, if you thought they were aliens from another galaxy far, far away, all that kind of stuff. But I don't see why you can't believe in... in. I'm just saying some people would then doubt. Why? They'd say maybe... Maybe, maybe God created that too. Exactly. But that's I not agree. doubt. That's... No, I understand. I just thought it was a good idea for a movie. I think it would be a cool idea, but not from a doubt perspective. Did you ever see Contact? I think... Jodie Foster. I thought that was a good movie. I liked it. Contact. That's not the Arrival one, right? No. Two different movies, right? It's old, older, right? I think, it's, yeah, it was I a while I think maybe ago. I saw, but maybe I don't remember. Where they, they, you know, they've got out in the desert, they've got all those radar dishes, yeah, yeah. whatever, yeah, yeah, trying yeah, yeah, to yeah, look yeah. for signals, and they yeah. finally get some. Some, some creature out there. Yeah. 
So I'm smart. Did you see it? I think so, but That's it was a good. long time That's ago. Pretty good. I've seen a lot of movies. Yeah. A ton of movies. You know, they're just not making good movies anymore. Uh, you know, I just watched Guardians of the Galaxy 3. It's I haven't actually seen quite fun. I'm just so done with Marvel. I'm done with I think, Star Wars. I'm done with all that oh, crap. Oh, dude, you gotta watch Ahsoka. Come on, man. No, I'm done with it. Oh, dude, it's dude. just so over and over and over. Same kind of nonsense. Oh, blah you're blah crazy. blah. Ugh. You're crazy, dude. Ahsoka is gonna be the shiznit. Ahsoka. Yeah. Ahsoka. Ahsoka. Who, what is that? It's a character. It's a person. It's Anakin's Padawan. Cause you never, cause you're too snobby to watch the Clone Wars. You don't know. I'm sorry, but the Clone Wars was a joke. It was fucking awesome. It was a joke. You are out of your mind. No, I tried. I gave it a gallant effort. You gave it the weakest effort possible. I watched, I think, at least two episodes. <laughs> of which one? The, the very start. No, no, no. There were two of them. No, you always no, no, no. watch from the beginning. No, no, I know, but there were two. There was these, uh, on Cartoon Network, there were these five-minute episodes <laughs> that were really corny, and those were actually kind of bad. No, these weren't five-minute episodes. Okay. These so were they like 30-minute the, shows. They were like, did you watch the movie first? Movie? Yeah. What movie? There was a movie first. Yeah? An animated movie? Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't know that existed. I watched... The Clone Wars, the series. I started it. Well, there's a movie it. that starts it. Um, it's like an hour and a half long, or ninety minutes. That's Anyways, a long time kind of like this. <laughs> well, for the one person that's watching, <laughs> if that. Uh, you know, there's there's a couple of people that I think watch it, and I don't know why. I know. I don't even watch it. <laughs> I think Bibby watches it, cause he's yeah. like made some comments like a couple of days after you you, you oh, know, that's put funny. it on, and he'll that's like, funny. and I'm like, gee, I can't believe you watched that. Uh, yeah, but she is that character is amazing. Oh, it's a girl. Yeah, it's a girl. Surprise, surprise. Whatever. No, I'm just I'm just done with it. I'm done with all of that. Lame. You're so lame. No, I'm not lame. Yeah, you are. I want something with with some meat on the bones. You didn't watch Mando? Mando what? Mandalorian? I saw a couple of episodes. And you thought it was garbage? I didn't think it was garbage, no. I thought it was actually pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Same people that did that but are not doing great. Like but not great. Oh, it was great. It was You're pretty crazy. good. You're crazy. You're <laughs> You have to separate yourself from what is the stupid ass fucking movies that they released yeah. and like the good stuff that they made. And I'm also, I'll be quite honest, I'm I'm also done with movies pretty much. I well, just Ahsoka's a TV show, it's not a movie, so there you go. No, but Problem solved. yeah. I I watch a few series because we're already in it. The fetching Mrs. likes to watch them, so I'm there with her. I am for her. I'm the, I mean it for her. But I probably wouldn't watch it. Did you watch own. Yellowstone? No. Oh, man, that dude is like the king of new shows. Like, he just made this show called Lioness. It's Lioness. like a special ops. Oh. It's like a special ops show. Okay, that I might watch. <laughs> and uh, it's essentially what they did is they have a program where they take women, hence Lioness, and they train them to go undercover. Uh, yeah, we need more ice train them to go undercover and then there's a team that plants this person undercover Ooh, there's a big chunk for you yeah, that plants, Boom. plants them undercover yeah uh to try to get at these you know like uh, i've always felt felt that women should be undercovers um and so since i know you're never really going to watch it yeah you can spoil it. The first episode is the main character is a woman who leads this team. Mm -hmm. And her undercover person is caught and is in this compound. And, you know, it's a bunch of radical Islamists, of course, because that's the only right. thing that we know how to do in this country is uh, do that. Because China won't let us do anything where I they know. are the enemy. I know. Otherwise, it'd be... That's fun. the other reason why I'm no longer with Disney. That's all they, they do, whatever China says. Most companies do whatever China says. And I want nothing to do with them. 
the U.S. government right now does whatever. Trump and I want nothing to do with it. <laughs> anyway, so in the first so, episode, this woman is like under this house, and they're like on choppers going to get her, and she gets caught, and she's on the phone, and she the woman hears yelling and just has her killed, and everybody just bomb drop kills everyone. Wow. And so it's like, holy shit. Here we go. It was awesome. And then, you know, the next episode, they bring the new girl, and they're okay. showing the new girl, and then, you know, I think five episodes in. It's pretty good. And it's called Lioness. It's called Lioness, like Special Ops Lioness or something like that. But it's done by the same guy who did... So that'd be Spall? Yeah. Or Spoil. Spoil, yeah. Spoil. Well, you know, Devin. Uh, we have a little, a little bit more to drink, sir. We do. So, anyways, it's done by the guy who did Yellowstone and all the Yellowstone things. Mm. He also did uh, uh, this show called Tulsa King mm. with Sylvester Stallone, who's like a mobster who comes out of prison after 30 years, and they okay. basically make him go to Tulsa to, to basically die, and he, like, starts, you know, taking over Tulsa. <laughs> it's actually really good. Huh. And then he did a show called... Uh, How old is that, dude? Who? So that old? Yeah. He's old. He was, they basically like made the show like he was in jail for like 30 years, right? So he's coming out like an old man, 70 something. Right. right. Um, and then he did this show called. Uh, Wait, you're saying 70s is old, old? Well. I'm not far from there. Uh, you still got 10 years. 10 years? 10 years is a long time. 10 years? No, not at my age. <laughs> 10 years. By the time you get years. there. Boom! That's one seventh of your life when you get there. That's still a long time. Okay. Right? What's crazy is if I live as long as my uncle, I've got 40 more years. I know. That's insane. That is insane. Man. That let's, is... let's hope that happens. Yeah. I'll be living here a but long this, time. This is going to prevent 40 more years. <laughs> I'll be living here a long time if you make it that long. Because <laughs> I'm not moving until he's not here. And I'm not moving while he's making pulled pork. Oh, speaking of that, how many am I making? Did we decide? Yes, I do have a few friends coming over. I don't know. Um, somewhere between 60 and 70 people. So let's say a uh, quarter pound a piece? Uh, I don't know. Whatever how you've done you in the past. I don't mind leftovers. Yeah, but how much leftovers? Whatever it takes I mean, to make everyone satisfied. Well, you know how I get when there's <laughs> leftovers. Yeah, this guy all of a sudden throws a pretty bird. I don't like my full pork. It must it's not be good. It must I not be killed good. three pigs and they didn't need it. So let's see, 70 people. To it's really them. sad the way he kills pigs in the backyard. It is. It's slow strangulation. Yeah. Very, very un unkind so let's say 70 hey did you know that there's a tunnel at the coast where you can go through this door and walk through to uh, I think it's I think it's called uh, tunnel beach because you only get there by a tunnel no I discovered that this last weekend with are a you PG an case explorer? with a did PG you, case yes did you I went through something? You know what's stupid though? I took a few pictures. I didn't take pictures of that beach over there. <laughs> it was. I just. I saw this door on the side of this mountain, and I was. I was saying to Paul and Bethany and Julie, I was like, "What? What is that? It looks like a. It looks like a door, like a tunnel." And naturally, Paul, because he's a brainiac, he knows everything. He said, oh, yeah, I think I, I read something about this. You know, it's a tunnel that goes through. I don't remember what it was for, though. So I had to go. I had to check it out. Walked through to the other side. Nice. And then walked back. So if 70 people... That's a rabbit hole. If 70 people... Eat, Actually, it's a coastal hole. It is a coastal hole. Yeah. If 70 people eat a quarter pound, that's 17 and a half pounds. Okay. How many pigs is that? That's like a quarter of a pig. That's like two pork shoulders. Okay. Uh, but three pork shoulders. What well, if, weren't you going to do some some other stuff too? No, was I supposed to? Oh, I thought you said you. you what did you want me to do? No, like brisket or. Oh, I'm not. No, no. that was a bombs. special for your birthday. 
That was special for your birthday. Wow. Okay. That's a, a bit more intricate process, and I actually don't have time to do it, because I'd have to do a Friday. Right. So. Okay. But how about if I make four. Okay. And I'll keep one. And then you can pay for three. Okay. Sure. I'm fine with that. I, I think three will be plenty of new options. Because I'm happy with leftovers. Yeah, but then you won't have, like, so much leftovers. No, I don't mind, because you know what's really cool about Well, we don't have pork? any left, so... <laughs> you know what's cool about pulled pork leftovers? What's that? Julie's not a fan, so most of it is mine. She's not a fan? Well, because it's a fatty meat. She likes to eat a bit more healthy than I do, which is why I'm is in better really health. Is it really a fatty milk? Is it really milk? fatty? Milk? Milk? Fatty. Did you say milk? <laughs> I said. Is it really a fatty meat? Oh, dude, are you kidding? Why do you think I like it so much? There's grease well, just oozing out of that meat. I love it. And apple cider vinegar and oh. seasonings and that's mm. yeah, delicious. I'm gonna try to sell it soon. Ooh, so Thursday, mm -hmm. I have an appointment at the kitchen. The kitchen. The kitchen that I have to rent right. for the fish. Right. So I have an appointment there, and I bought a three hundred dollar freezer. I got to take that there. I'm gonna set it up, run through it with the lady, and be like, "All right, what am I missing?" And then hopefully next week, I'll have it with the guy, the steak guy, and then I'll get certified. Nice. And I can start selling fish for you, one person who has money that watches this. Huh. I'm selling fish. Nice. Yeah. And then, once I figure that out, then I'm going to figure out how can I sell brisket and pulled pork no. by the pound. That would be pretty sweet. Yeah, except not for you. I, would, I don't, I would, I don't I get any? I would just... Oh, I get it. You'll just get it. Yeah. Yeah. The we'll scraps. Sell it to you. Come on. <laughs> but I made three briskets last week. Right. Right? And they were 15, plus or minus 15 pounds a piece. So 45 pounds... Of that 45 pounds, I made seven pounds of ground beef from the trimmings. Oh, wow. Seven pounds. So I figure if I do that, like if I can sell it, and mm -hmm. I do it once a month, even if I sold all three of them bucks a piece, I would make about $2.45 an hour. But I would get seven pounds of ground beef for free. So all right. That's expensive ground beef. <laughs> <laughs> but it's free. Mm. Yeah, I figured it's uh, about 12 hours of, of semi-active work. Like I have to feed the fire. Right. And then it goes into the holding tank for 12 hours. But you're not standing there staring at it. No. Yeah. So that's hard to like... Like how do you price that? I have to. No you know idea. what I mean? Yeah. It costs, I mean, I can I can cost the meat, I can cost the wood, mm -hmm. it costs $42 for one thing of maple, and it takes one to cook the whole time, so 42 divided by three, okay, that goes for one brisket, right? And the seasonings, I don't know, like three or four bucks a brisket, and then charcoal, it takes about a right. third of a thing, so that's ten bucks divided by three. That's another three bucks. So like, okay, like the base cost is there, right? Right. And uh, but how do I how do I charge like my time? Like, do yeah, I even care? See, yeah. Even, see, that's the problem. Care? Well, yeah, you do, especially when it just turns into like a job, as opposed to something you like to do. You like to do this, but if it turns into a job, then you don't like to do it. Well, that's why I don't really care, like. How, like, I don't really care to, like, make a living at it, right? Right. I just want to be able to do it and not have to pay to do it. Which is which is why I was looking <laughs> into a, a food cart trailer yeah. to do Cabana Man at events. You know, Dude, somebody you has a private that. party. You could do that, and I could bring the food there, and we just chop it up there. Right? A little pull pork, do a little brisket. Yeah. And you serve the drinks? Be like a two man wrecking crew. <laughs> we could be the we could be the Do you know who the wrecking crew was? The world class wrecking crew? Yeah. Who? Uh, Dr. Dre and a bunch of nobodies who never made it. 
you talking about? The world class wrecking crew. They were they were studio musicians. Uh, not those guys. A different no, place. they were called the wrecking crew. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about the world class wrecking no. crew. These guys. Yeah, they were like pre hip hop hip hop guys. Like like they wore like sequin uh, outfits and danced and sang. Uh, yeah. I'm feeling sick now. <laughs> you mentioned Hip hop. <laughs> Shut up. Don't be a jerk. It's what I do. That's true. It's what I do best, at least. Everyone has a skill, a talent. Mine is being a jerk. I think my wife thinks mine is too. Well, my wife thinks that as well about me. We should end on that note. Oh. Okay. Our wives think that we're jerks. Yeah. And so, I bet you do too. Yeah. So, cheers. Cheers. Happy going down the cabana. Yeah, number 14. <laughs>